Hi everyone, it's that time for another studio vlog. I'm Starlene Hodge. Uh, welcome. I am doing something different with this one. I got a medical bill for my recent surgery for $251. And I thought, I wonder how much art I could make and sell to cover this bill plus the taxes I earn from selling art. Um, so I need to sell $360 worth of art to save 30% of that for taxes so I could make $252. So can I do it? Can I sell $360 worth of art? Or maybe, maybe, can I sell $1,000 worth of art to make a dent on this 15K IVF loan that we have? That'd be nice, we'll see. So this vlog is about doing that. So I needed to figure out also when I was going to draw all this art. And so I essentially did these little ACO cards whenever there was an opportunity for me while I was editing for work, like when things were rendering to try to draw when I could or when I was on a little break. Um, Cause these are relatively easy to draw and bang out while I'm editing. Um, coloring is a different story though. So I ended up making all of these cards. <laughs> Thinking that, oh, I'll be able to color these and bang these out real quick. That was not the case. Turns out it's very easy to make yourself get overwhelmed when you start a project and like try to do everything all at once. Um, I told myself I, this would be really quick and simple and it definitely wasn't. I also wanted to have fun with it. I draw to relax. I draw in color to, you know, feel good about myself because for the most part I sit at my computer all day. So when I'm doing this, I want to also, you know, feel good as well. Um, so adding this extra pressure of I have to make all of these to sell, I don't think necessarily was great for my mental health, but I also wanted to have a sense of accomplishment, so I tried anyway. I also wanted to record all of this for reels and shorts and IG because of course that's what social media is all about now. Um, so I didn't want to do like twice the amount of work. I had to set up my phone to also record myself above and it's weird how that just suddenly makes it like, oh, I can't make any mistakes and then everyone's watching and it like really saps a lot of energy out of doing this. But I also know this is kind of part of the business now and finding that balance to do all of that is hard. Um, this is me finishing the one and then going through all my stuff and realizing that I might have bitten off more than I can chew in terms of trying to get everything done. I'm looking at the clock like, oh no, yeah. <laughs> so to be honest, I stopped for a few days. I didn't color, I was just like, oh, this feels like a little too much. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish this goal. But I eventually got back to it. I was like, you know what, let me just not worry about trying to finish 12 cards. Let's just work on two, you know, which is far more reasonable. And I started with the ones with my highest interest, which is Zelda and Link because the game was about to come out and I wanted to really play it. And so they were on my mind and I drew them. So it's just like, hey, let me pick something that I'm gonna really enjoy and feel good about. And so I did, I, I colored these two. There's something about this game that is just so exciting. I was not a big Zelda person. Um, most of my life because I tried to play the original Nintendo game, the old school Nintendo game, and I couldn't get out of that first room. <laughs> and so I was just like, Zelda's not my game. And so for all the years all these Zelda games would come out, I would just ignore it because I couldn't get out of that first room in the original game. And then um, my husband over pandemic was like, I'm playing Breath of the Wild, and I watched him play it. Eventually, I was like, 
you know what, let me try to play this game. It'll be my first Zelda game and it was so much fun. I loved it. So of course, Tears of the Kingdom coming out, I'm like, oh yes, I'm ready to get back into this world. <laughs> so of course the game came out and I still hadn't finished these cards and I didn't want to miss anything. So I set up a little table to continue to draw my little mermaids for mermaid while I watched my husband play because I didn't want to miss a thing, even though I knew I was going to play later. I just, I was just too hyped <laughs> about all of it. It was very exciting. To be honest, all I kind of want to do right now is just draw Zelda fan art. <laughs> it's been what's occupying my mind. So I'm kind of grateful for the game to kind of re-spark and keep my motivation going on finishing this. Uh, what kind of things do you guys do to like keep your creative energy going? I would love to hear some tips because I don't think playing video games all the time is gonna work long term. <laughs> so, update. I'm still working on all these cards. I just finished these yesterday and I have a lot more to do. Um, I always think I'll just be able to draw like 20 things and color them in the same day and all this stuff and it takes me days, if not weeks, to complete this. And then I just got another medical bill. So the goal was to do a little over $300. Now, it kind of doesn't even matter because the next bill is here. It's that much. Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah. Um, wasn't expecting that. I thought I already paid for the surgery what was left over from the insurance. Um, Cause on the day of the surgery, I had to pay, what was it? $1,411.76. I paid that the day of the surgery. And I thought they were giving me a little discount because they were like, oh, if you pay it all in full now, we'll give you like 10% off. And I was like, you know what? I'll eat into my savings and do that because 10% wanted to save as much as I could. And then yeah, now this, the secondary bill. It's, it's great. Great, 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 great. So I'm still going to finish these art pieces because I need to still pay off that other bill. And then this one, I'm going to call the hospital and see if they can put me on a payment plan because definitely can't pay this in full. Don't have that. So. You win capitalism, you win, you win, you win this round. Um, yeah, gonna finish these art pieces. Um, figure out how to make art that's worth thousands of dollars instead of not thousands of dollars. And also not lose my mind and just always working, always working. I don't. I don't, I don't like this, but whatever. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Maybe I'll get into painting. We'll see, we'll see. That'll be for a future video. This video is about finishing this. So let's do that. Still try to pay that other bill. Yeah. So weirdly enough, <laughs> with the new bill, it kind of took the pressure off of having to complete all these pieces, which then in turn made me want to finish all of them. Um, it's weird how something like that can happen. The the pressure to make 370 bucks didn't seem as daunting anymore after seeing the other bill. And it's kind of like, well, I'm probably not going to be able to get that bill taken care of in one go. 
so there's no pressure for me to like sell all of these all at once so it's okay I could take my time and finish the art which then just made me motivated to finish it so I don't know I don't know why my brain works that way but essentially as soon as you take the pressure off everything becomes more fun um, and I guess I appreciate that even though my wallet at this point is just like hmm because hmm. <laughs> yeah I still still have the IVF loan to pay off and later in the year um, probably taking out another loan to finish the IVF um, but you know what that's a that's a problem for another day and right now I'm enjoying making art I'm so happy to make mermaids for Mermay I'm hoping I will draw a few more than just the few that I did um, these past few weeks because mermaids are always just a good go-to for me and honestly I just wanted to keep drawing a lot of Zelda stuff maybe that'll be <laughs> on my on my plate soon and that'll just be that'll just be something for fun in the meantime just in, enjoy the rest of this little time lapse of me coloring these mermaid pieces So here are the finished pieces. I really love how they came out. I love using the blank Copic marker, which is just alcohol, I believe, and probably some other chemical, but it's mostly just alcohol to dilute the markers to create those bubbles. And yeah, it's one of my favorite techniques, especially for mermaids. At the home stretch of this particular project, I'm gonna put up all of these cards and art up in my shop the same time I put up this vlog. Um, so hopefully if you're interested in any of these the cards I usually put up for about 17 bucks and The bigger ones I'm probably gonna put up for 40 So if you're interested in them, please feel free to check out my shop at starlinearts.com And if you like this sort of vlogs, uh, make sure to like and subscribe all of that does help my shop and my whole little side art business here and I really appreciate it I'll see you guys next time. Bye.